The Commonwealth of Massachusetts this past summer adopted a permanent increase in the fees which go to support the Community Preservation Act. As the town of Belmont begins its deliberations over what CPA projects will be funded in, in town this year, the Belmont Journal caught up with Margaret Valley, chair of Belmont's Community Preservation Committee. Valley talks to us about the impact that the state funding decision will have on the town of Belmont. The state adopted a, a new increase in the recording fees at the Registry of Deeds, which go into which feed the the state CPA fund, and that's the fund that gets distributed to the half of the towns in Mass and cities in Massachusetts that have adopted the CPA. The Community Preservation Act can only be used for three things. So open space, actually four things, open space, but open space includes outdoor recreation. Um, and then you can use the CPA fund to preserve historic resources, buildings and resources, um, and to create and support what's called community housing, which is essentially affordable housing. It's the CPA term for affordable housing. So each, each town that has a CPA, Community Preservation Act fund, two sources of um, money go into it. So first is locally generated, and that's a surcharge on our property taxes. Um, and then the state matches that. So the purpose of the Community Preservation Act is to help preserve our, the, the state's communities. That's why the act was passed. Um, and so in our town, so many projects that wouldn't get funded have been funded um, by CPA. Playgrounds maybe eventually would have gotten funded, but it, you know, they may have been 10 years later. Um, they would have been rehabilitated, but um, so we're able to get a lot of things done, I'd say earlier, and that may not be on, you know, the top of the list for the Capital Budget Committee, um, get funded by the CPA, have been funded by the CPA. <laughs> Grove Street, um, a number of years ago, the town funded um, a uh, master plan for Grove Street and the intergenerational path was one of the projects in that master plan. So they came before us for CPA money and they one year they got money for the design of it and then the following year they got money for the construction and the construction's underway right now. Um, you can't predict what the state fund will collect each year because it depends on the number of um, fees that are collected, but it should more than double what we've gotten from the state, or close to more than double what we've gotten from the state in the past.